Hello, hello. Hey, What's hey. Up? Hello, everyone. We have a, a trailer for Arc Ascended. Yeah, just dropped like the day before this podcast came out. Yes, and what did we talk about about 10 days ago? Uh, <laughs> you'll, hear, you'll hear the rest of that part of the podcast later. 10 days ago, we were like, we can't believe there's not a trailer out because this thing, is it, is it still launching, what, the 28th? Wasn't it supposed to launch really soon? We never had a date. That's like the first thing yeah. I want to talk about because as of right now, like even somebody in Discord was like, a trailer came out and it was announced kind of because it just says coming soon. Right. Yeah. So there is no there is no definitive date. But originally they said end of October. So yeah, they I guess they just missed that mark. But that's okay. Whatever. Or it is going to come out in a few days because, <laughs> Neebs, what did you, uh, did you see something on the Reddits? Well, I've gone to uh, Steam and I've jumped on the wish list. There's no date on here. Yeah, it just says coming soon. Yeah, and it's saying, you know, it's going to be like an early access, like before. They're going to be developing it with the community probably for another year or so. Once, yeah, once I it think is it's going to be a little bit of a mess at launch, but yeah. yeah. But the trailer looks really good. Like, the images look awesome. Oh, the visuals, yeah. I mean, that Unreal Engine 5 looked very nice. Just the mm -hmm. lighting and, uh, yeah, just kind of the way the, the foliage moves. Yeah. With the animals, it's like, yeah. The animals are knocking down trees because they didn't, they didn't knock them down, at least not like they do now, because it looks like you're watching the trees hit the ground and the leaves are reacting or the yeah. branches yeah. are reacting, which is awesome. But we had talked about it in the podcast, like, you know, whatever, let's just say last week, about this being an early access thing. I was like, well, maybe it'll be early access. And I remember the re reaction was kind of like, well, that'd be fucking weird, which it would be. Because this is <laughs> a, a, but now that's what it is. It's going to be a early access thing, right, Neebs? That's what you just said. Yeah, they're going to be perfecting it. And I don't know. I know it drives most everybody nuts, but I get it. If I was creating a game, I would want people's input and, you know, to correct my errors along the way. Uh, yeah, no, I get that. But these are like Appsro explained to me last week because I didn't know these are these are pre-existing maps, but there are a lot of changes. So uh, yeah, the water and the building and all that other stuff. So yeah, no, it's. Uh, I mean, they're using. Uh, they've yeah, they're completely using what Unreal Engine five now. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm sure there's technical hurdles that they are not expecting that once people have their hands on the game, they're gonna go, oh shit, we gotta fix this, we gotta fix that. So, you know, at least they're doing that early access. They're not they're not saying like this game's gonna be perfect on launch. <laughs> like, no, it's gonna be a mess probably. Yeah. And we <laughs> it's like anyone who's been played Ark is yeah. You've you've been conditioned to know. Right. It's gonna yeah. be a while. You know. You know. Studio Wildcard has a reputation. And <laughs> if you know, you know. And it's not just them, it's a lot of survival games. No, yeah. A yeah, lot yeah. of people do it. I mean it's, it's we talked about it in seven days still in early access. Like, come on. Yep. <laughs> it's absurd. But hey, usually it's worth the wait. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Sh I'm sure. But the, I guess the, the, yeah, the big question is when? Because all they delivered was a trailer that we all expected to see six months ago. And now we get that on the, you know, on what we think is probably going to be the release. So there's a chance it might actually be like yeah. a, a drop release in a few days and they might actually be good or it could be another six months, which would be. Yeah. I can't worry myself with problems like that. I got no. other games to play in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. So, I any... don't, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> All right. Well, anything wow you, I care. I, I would like to, to get in and see how pretty it looks because it does well, look very different. But... Yeah. Oh, it's going to look good. Yeah, I mean, that Unreal Engine 5 is an amazing gaming engine. And yeah, I mean, that, that tech is incredible. It is. So, I mean, I'm super excited to get in. Like, I want to know when it's going to come out because I want to know when we can actually jump in and play it. But was there anything else aside from the the graphics that wowed you or made you very much more intrigued with this trailer? I mean, not. it looks like, yeah, it's, it's, it's arc with a, a shiny new coat of paint. It looks like it plays pretty much the same. It's just, uh, it's got a new, yeah. All the new stuff is really just, oh, the water and the grass, everything just will kind of react to you now. And it obviously looks pretty. The volumetric effects look great. Yeah. That Titan Boa coming out of the water looked really good to me for some reason. Oh, no, it, it did look great. And uh, Yeah. No, I'm, I'm curious to see. Yeah, the water is a lot more reactive now. Because like, even like there's a shot of a house blowing up, and I think it even affects like the water and the trees around it. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I'm curious... To see if they've fixed some, like I saw, some, I was reading through the comments in the video, 
And a lot of people, I don't know where they saw this. I didn't see it, but, you know, it's probably not going to be available for console for a while. So that'll make a lot of folks unhappy. I'm curious because the, at the end of the trailer, you know, it says Ark Survival Ascended, Steam, Xbox, and PS5. Okay. So it's like, yeah, they're they're saying, hey, this is coming to console. Yeah. So I don't know. That's just from comments. But also, uh, what was the other thing I wanted to say? Like in building, are they going to make the building tighter? That well, That's something I noticed on one of the, I think the building that blew up, actually. I noticed like different building parts that I hadn't seen, like different uh, roof structures. Okay. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, maybe they're uh, they're maybe they're expanding the building a little bit. I mean, I hope so because yeah, the building, building arc always to rotate the the existing pieces and more. You know, like in in seven days, you can rotate a block any way you want to. Right. If you could do that with all the existing pieces, that'd be great. Yeah. Well, they did mention. Yeah. You guys did see that they mentioned something that was saying that they were changing the building in what mm-hmm. we recorded. So, like, meaning not just the way it looks, but I think the way it works is supposed to be changing, at least what they announced. So, I'm just, it's too bad they didn't show any building in the trailer. <laughs> That's really what get gamers going. Well, I mean, it's a survival game that has building. So, you know, you've seen tons of trailers with uh, uh, snippets of building because that's a big part of the game. Why wouldn't it be mm-hmm. in there? I think it's kind of weird that it wasn't. Probably because it still sucks. Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to highlight this that people are going to be complaining about right away. If you read on Steam, it says, uh, I guess some of the maps are going to be available. It looks like. I'm curious if they're going to make survival the fittest better. Because that, that could have been really fun. It was just really wonky. But uh, Scorched Earth, Aberration, Extinction, Genesis, Part 1 and 2. Most of those I don't care about. Um, I think they're doing the original maps too. Center, Ragnarok, Valgawera, Crystal Isles, Lost Islands, which we never played, and Fjordor. Right, so it would make Ugh. sense if that was, uh, you know, when it's ready that we would jump in the island, right? Lost Island? Yeah. Or... In that, is it the Lost Island or is it the Big Island? There's two different I think different the Lost islands. Island, well, let's see. The Lost Island is one we never played. The, the island is the original map, right? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I'm looking at Steam, too. I'm also seeing, uh, this is neat, this um, cross-platform modding. Okay. So it looks like they're just going to have a mod system built into the game. Okay. The, yeah, there's a mod browser directly in the game, so people, I guess, can make mods and shit, and you can like download them right there in the game. That'd oh, be cool. Yeah. All right. And I've never, we probably talked about this and I forgot, but the game is going to be cross-platform. Is that? Something? It is. Yeah. So that's another thing. Yeah. We, we could technically form a tribe and uh, people at home that want to play on their uh, Xboxes or PS5s could join us. Well, that'd be big, wouldn't it? Yeah. Public multiplayer up to 70 players. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then private, private sessions for up to eight players. So still good for us. And they even got local uh, split screen. I can't imagine doing that, but oh, geez. it's there. Yeah, that'd be crazy. There's a photo mode now. That'd be good for us for getting uh, shots for thumbnails. Mm-hmm. Yeah. New camera system. What does that mean? New camera systems. New map system. Yeah. Tracking system. New structures and items. Why would that be important to anybody but us? <laughs> right. We're the only idiots. They're <laughs> like, yeah. Just the in-camera game or in-game camera where you take pictures of your dinos and put them on a canvas? I have no idea, man. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, photo mode, if there's a photo mode that tells me, you know, you can't, well, I guess you could pause the game, but if you got a, if you got a server with 70 people, it's like, are you going to be able to do photo mode? Not if it pauses, I wouldn't think. Yeah. No, it can't pause. It's like, so, oh wait, now is the photo mode going to be like, okay, it, it, while the game's running, that'd be cool. You could, you could set up really awesome shots with that. Yeah. Uh, this sounds like it's a game change, like big changes. I mean, I'm super excited to play this. I'm curious. I mean, yeah. Definitely curious. If it yeah, works. I, don't, I don't expect it to be too different. No. At the end of the day, it's going to play like Ark. Yeah, I mean, the, the visuals are enough for me to want to switch over, though, just because it looks beautiful. Now, I, I'm curious to see. They haven't released PC specs yet. No. Nope, because, I mean, to run, I feel like to run this thing smoothly, you're going to need a beast. Yeah. If it fights smoothly and it builds smoothly and it has these fun extra tools that obviously we do care about. It just seems like it's going to be something to look forward to. But oh yeah, I'm just being positive. I mean, we're going to play it for sure. All right. Okay. Yeah. So so <laughs> All there right. we go. Okay. Arcs coming out. We don't know when. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And and now we're going to talk in a weird way, like it didn't come out, but it did. Oh yeah, we're going to cut to our 
podcasts are recorded originally. Yeah, I'm going to see, I'm going to try not to make it that awkward, or it's going to be awkward. Hey, just expect awkward. Yeah, and hey, and Dora will be there. That's right, oh, yeah, all of a cause, sudden. Yeah, because he didn't, he didn't respond to this message to talk. He saw it. He's a piece of shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see you guys next time. Enjoy. Nope, don't leave, though. We got more. Here we go. Old stuff. Hit it. All right. Ark Survival Ascended is coming out supposedly at the end of October. Right. That's what we've been told, at least now, the date we're recording this. Well, that's interesting considering we haven't heard much lately. Uh, yeah. They've been super quiet. And I'm- it's it's already October as we're recording this. Yeah. And we've seen no trailer. Only we know that it's coming. All, all they've shown is like little images of like, hey, here's the new drop. Here's the new sleeping bag. The important things. Yeah. What do the dinosaurs look like? Right? So to me, there's two options. Either they're just like, they're just waiting until they're done and they're confident about it and they're just going to blast it out. It's like end of October. Boom. Here's the trailer and here's the game. Or they're in way over their heads and uh, it's going to be delayed. I would think that It's going to be on time-ish, and they're not going to say anything until it comes out because we're we're past the point. It's weird that they don't even have a date. They just say end of October. Just end of October. Where that's very strange, isn't it? Do you normally there's a fucking day on there? Eh, sometimes Uh, every game every game studio is different. Some game studios don't like you know eh, you know eh, we're we're aiming for this whether they hit it or not. eh. The last game they just put out didn't they? They Which one? They didn't worry about it being done. Art. The first one, arc? Yeah. They just put it out? Yeah. I guess. I don't remember that back that far. Yeah, Wasn't done, was it? Well. Is it ever done? <laughs> well, it was It was in early access, and then it was officially done in, like, what, 2018 or 2019? Or something like that. Something, yeah. So when, so it wasn't done. Okay. And they put it out. But this, now they're probably I mean, like, who knows? Let's make sure it's done. You think <laughs> they might do this early access? Like, after they release it. Oh, I have no idea. Because that's what they did with Sons of the Forest, right? Oh, like Ark Ascendant. Oh, man. So that's that's already weird because it's a remake of a game, but a remake of a game coming out in early acts. Okay, yeah. Oh, brain... it's a remake? Well, it's not a remake, Ark but, Ascendant. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be like the here. I know, like, Scorched Earth's going to be one of the maps. Oh, okay. Uh, survival of the Fittest Variants, is that a thing? Maybe. And this is supposed to be also on, you said, Unreal Engine 5. Yes, Unreal Engine 5, yeah, they're doing a complete overhaul of the game in Unreal Engine 5. Okay. So they're using Nanite and Lumen and NVIDIA's new technology. So at least it's going to look pretty. I, I mean, Arc already looked good. What the this. big question is, everyone wants to know, is what does that new Forge look like? What the, and look, what well, is that? can you show us? Can you put uh, on yeah, the, uh, the things they've uh, put uh, out. Oh, uh, let's uh. see. Is this a Forge or a Room? Okay, this is old workbench. Uh-huh. This is new workbench. Wow! Yeah, glad they put this out. This really gets me going. <laughs> that first bed looks more comfortable. It does. Well, it looks... Uh, I'm going to sleep in that one. The other one's inviting, isn't it? That rolled up leather does not look like a good pillow. No, not at all. What is this? Well, this, that's this just... Like what a... is that? Wool? Maybe, I don't know. Looks yeah. softer to me. That's, that's wool, yeah. And that... that uh piece of wood across the front of the bench no longer put up by a drunk person straight yeah it's straight across yeah look now. at that look at the mortar and pestle yep cooking uh, pot yeah yeah cooking pot okay what nicer. else what else <laughs> all right how about this now <laughs> oh what? like no. a bug the drop the yeah drop so this is like the a... drop i don't i don't know now it looks like a like from from uh what was that uh the alien bug movie which one? The one Star where Troopers? Star, that looks Starship like Starship Troopers. Troopers. It kind of looks like a Starship Trooper thing. Mm. I don't mind it. It's just different for that. Like, yeah, you know, I, I can go, sure. okay, either one. Yeah. It's a little awkward. Give gonna, me something else. Are y'all going to play it? Play what? Ascended. What do you think, what? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Pac-Man. I mean, why wouldn't we play it? Why <laughs> yeah. wouldn't we play it? We're, of course, going to hop in and check it out. Because you guys like think it. it's not a good game as that No, thing. I like early arc. I want to play it, but I don't want to do a boss fight. How about that? Okay. Yeah, it's I, like I, I, I'll play it until like we get bored of it, but it's just like, no, nah, we got to do a boss fight. No, the fuck we don't. Boss fights in the game are Give awful. me more. I want more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's this. what they should do is fix boss fights. Yeah, no shit. If they fix the boss fights and make them fun, maybe uh, maybe I'll be interested. Why are they sharing this? 
I don't well, know. Because, well, because <laughs> listen, because they obviously they look different, and I'm blind. So which one looks different? Which one is? I can't even tell which one's. Yeah, which. if you took away the logo at the bottom, I wouldn't know which one was the new one and which one was the old one. I think that the, I, I'm thinking that the left one is <laughs> looks the, better. Is the is the new one? Is it not? It's not. This is the new one. Yeah. The one okay. On the right. they're, they're going with different shading. Come on, maybe the next lighting. one will be better. Give me All another. Right. Yeah, I'm uh, also blind. Hey, Jeez. oh, that's obvious. The one on the right looks yeah, newer okay. and nicer. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. nicer for lighting. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, that Next. lighting is significantly all better. Right. So let's yeah. see what this looks like. All right. Oh, so, okay. That's. I think that's a lot nicer. So now we're now but can you build hut. though? Yeah, this is stuff you can build. Taller but the, walls. What a, but what about the mechanics? Is what I'm talking about. Like that, you guys say building there sucks. Oh yeah, no. So I don't see. I don't think the root game has changed. It's just going to look prettier. That's it. Yeah. So I, I still think the building will suck it's gonna compared suck. to what. We, but, but you never know. Maybe that's something they they might update for this. Yeah. Well, they've also seem to made things like with those two things. One significantly. I wonder if the walls are also they look just, just bigger. They look taller by default now. Yeah. So that's that might what showing. that might mean building might work a little bit better. Who knows? It might have changed. Maybe we'll see. It's all speculation, isn't it? Yep. So, Hope yeah. you're on the right side of history. You better. But, but at this point, this is all they've put out on it. That's all we've seen. No trailer, just those images. And coming at the end of that's October. It. Yeah, end of October, which is about now. There you go. There's a bunch of information that you probably didn't have. Now we arc ascended evolved. I'm excited to get back in. Mm-hmm. At some there point you go. here, I am. I, boy. I've never been like, eh, eh, like them too, but you lumped me in with them. But I that's okay. It, it happens. You'll probably be on game. Dumpster, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. They're going to have cross-platform. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. so that's kind of neat. It's like if, yeah. Yeah, if your buddies on Xbox and PlayStation, play together. PC. How, how would you feel... Um, that going game through, with a controller? Hell no. Going through those menus no, and stuff. Kind of exactly. like the no. seven days thing with... Um, yeah, I couldn't imagine. Yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah, going through their, which I don't know. I've started to get. I've gotten pretty used to doing it with Conan now. Yep, yeah, same here. So you know, maybe maybe it's something that you could adapt to and just be fine. But in my head, I'm like, no, I don't want to navigate those menus with a yeah. controller. But I do find myself, if I'm doing a lot of stuff, just throwing the controller down and doing right. yeah. doing menus. It's a great stuff. option to have. Yeah, a lot of yep. people don't have that. It's going to have dynamic water. It's got mm. that going for it. All right, so what is the the dynamic? Does it mean that you can... It probably moves a little better. Like, if you were to jump in the water, the water will actually bend and move. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got an opening cut scene. I'm excited about that. Wow. No, Thank God. About that, no. So I hope, we, skip it. I hope we're forced to... Yeah, I hope we're forced to watch it all the time. I'll watch it's it every time. I every love time. it so much. Thank you to our sponsor, Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit with chef-prepared meals delivered straight to your door, and they're delicious. Factor's fresh and never-frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy. And fall is here, and it can get crazy. Whether you need a quick lunch or a nutritious meal that's ready in minutes, Factor's the perfect solution to not having time to cook, or maybe you just hate to cook and you're tired of eating junky food. And I've eaten a lot of Factor, and I order for the fact that I I feel like I don't have time, or at least I don't prep enough time for it. It's just one more thing that I have to do. I finally committed to a weekly 12-meal plan, and I'm excited because I've been getting Factor, but not every week. And I'm getting it now because I know I'm, I'm eating junkier food, and when I'm not eating junkier food, I'm eating much more expensive food. And they have so many options. Keto, vegan and veggie, calorie smart, and protein plus options are on the menu each week. Prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. So if you have ever considered trying a ready-to-eat meal kit, Factor is for you. So head to factormeals.com slash 50 and use code Neebs50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code Neebs50 at factormeals.com slash 50 to get 50% off your first box. Thank you factor okay a more there's a big list there anything else jumping out at you i don't uh, care how bad it is i want to yeah. hear it give me an, anything. an updated mini map do i see wild babies uh yes you do that's new huh that is new okay oh. so oh wait so wild like babies you could get the babies kind of like conan stuff there yeah. maybe maybe yeah. i don't know if you still have to get the egg and tame it from the egg but i mean that does make the world feel a little bit more alive and dynamic when you know yeah okay there's a brontosaurus and she's got a little baby with her not yeah. everything comes from an egg 
Nope. Character yeah. creation yeah. Right. customization is improved. That, that might be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Snap point improvement. So that is building. You'll like that. Mm-hmm. I will. I will very much like that. A photo mode. Ooh. Oh, we that. can take pictures of ourselves. We've already been good that. for thumbnails. Uh, yeah. A ping system. Okay. Di- directional sprinting and walking. What do you suppose that means? The direction you are walking, uh, you can sprint in. Um, I'm thinking that you could hit a button and move it like you're going to like click and push forward and it locks in the run. And then you can look around while you're running that way. And you can go eat something. Oh, come okay. Back. Gotcha. That kind of yeah. thing, maybe. So, yeah, boom. All right, guess, I'm running and now yeah. I can look left and right. It's a good gamer are guess. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah I, right. game. I see that. He's a gamer. Okay. Wow. The, actually, this this has been nice to hear this. I hope that the trailer doesn't come out. I want to I want to experience it like <laughs> with you when it does. Yeah. yeah. No, I'd be curious. Yeah, when it comes out, we'll, we should have like a watch party. Yeah. We should well, record it. You know why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> like none of us have seen it. Let's play it and let's rewind it and look at some stuff. Yeah, it's it it is absolutely nuts that. That's the only information that you have on it. This late in the for something that's coming out in a couple weeks, yeah, potentially, supposedly in a couple few they're weeks. Just, maybe they're just hoping everyone forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's exactly they're gonna what slip they want. In 2024, end of October, 2024. That was always there. Yeah, it always said 2024. Either that, or they're just gonna delay it again. And yeah. and that would like a lot of people are upset right now, aren't they? Oh, I think so. Uh, well, that was because From I the think server they wipe. shut down their official servers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I think, didn't they give them, because I got a message saying, oh, yeah. no, there if you want to download your map, mm-hmm. download your map. Like, yeah. If you want to have your own oh, so that, server. That was it. That's all you needed. But then to do, you got to so. find a server for it. Like, could it. It's a big inconvenience for everybody. That'd yeah. be so dope if you could, if that map, everything you put years and hours and hours in, could like come back looking all fresh and pretty in this. Mm, Wouldn't yeah. that be a dope transfer? They could have just that copied cool. that over to the new one. Oh, that'd be was, a, the greatest gift for all those that put all that time in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's probably just a tech nightmare there. I would imagine. Yeah. Especially with that directional running and sprinting. Mm-hmm. So, the you babies. know, you would think that it would be worth the test because if you could charge for it, like I know that if, if I knew that I had to go through that pain in the ass thing, taking the map out, but if I knew that if all I had to do is if I wanted to put it back in and it cost me a hundred bucks, to put it back in or i could start from scratch it's up to mm. you like that'd be a good opportunity to make money and when you anyone <laughs> gladly pay it boy you really want they're already people that pissed. put thousands yeah. of hours pissed in would pay <laughs> i know <laughs> i'm saying if you put thousands of hours into this they i'm just saying they dropped the ball five years ago when they were planning this and figuring the shit out they could have said all you got to do is just offer them that'd be so shitty i don't know yeah oh yeah i think that's it's like shitty. ransom it's worth it is it basically <laughs> is it's, it's like hey we got your yeah, we got your dinosaurs hostage. We can move them over to the new servers if you give us money. Whatever. In my head, it makes sense, I swear. Simon likes Ransom. I do. Yeah. I do. I love I love Ransom. I didn't know that. But. Yeah, I'm a big fan. <laughs> 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 oh, but yeah, Arc. I'm curious to see how it looks. How it plays. Yeah, me cool. too. And now Arc 2 is slated for? Question mark. End of October. <laughs> end of October. <laughs> end of last. End time. of 2024 is one of the things that I read recently. Okay. So, okay. I mean, we'll that's see. a big fucking yeah. delay, man. Like, that's a crazy, like, that's somebody coming in, screaming and yelling, starting a fire, kicking holes in the walls, and saying, everything's fucked, guys. <laughs> You're all fucked. This is all turned to shit. Yep. We're Unless, starting it over. Okay. We're fucking doing it. Because. That's such a big delay. It was supposed to be in the middle of, or uh, end of 2022. Gotcha. I thought you were pitching another ransom situation. No, no. Or pay me a hundred bucks. Or yeah, but it, to me it made sense, like because uh, it, it's been really delayed. I bet Vin Diesel's pissed. <laughs> he's, he, he's got paid. No, he's he, not. But I think I think he's a part owner, isn't he? Uh, something like that. But, yeah. Might be a producer on it. But yeah, there is uh, the release date is still to be announced. There is no there's no official release date, at least on Steam. Okay. Yeah, plan release date to be announced. They don't know. We don't know. All right. Hmm. Maybe end of twenty twenty four was like a give them a shut them up date. Yeah, it'll be out when GTA six comes out. That's what I was just thinking about. Yeah. <laughs> It's another game. This is like, oh. Everybody's like, we know it's being worked on, but God, who knows when it's going to pop off. Now, man, talk about, there's a night and day as far as like mm. technical accomplishments. The amount of moving parts in a GTA versus 
Ark. And a lot's going on in Ark. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but man, take man, that Especially, to... yeah, I can't imagine what Rockstar is going to try to pull off with six. For sure. Because you know it's have, Rockstar. Uh, They're always like, all right, what can we, how can we push it? Yeah. There better be AI in it. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I want to have a conversation with the NPCs walking down the street. Might wow. be a mod. Wow. God. That'd be a mod. That'd be crazy. Because, I mean, people are modding already, aren't they? Well, I, in GTA, I don't know. I know they're doing it in but Skyrim. Yeah. yeah. In Skyrim, someone installed, uh, I think, chat GPT or something into, like, a side character. Yeah. And the side character can follow you, and you can turn around and talk to it, and it'll respond. Really? Yeah. It's hmm. going to be my uh, my old person companion. It's going to be like like a chat GPT with a sexy voice. <laughs> like that like that movie with, uh, what's his name, Joaquin Phoenix? Mm-hmm. Her. Oh yeah, her. That was good. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, it was that's really where good. He fell in love with an AI system, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. that is so. The, that is so the future. Except for it's not going to be a talk. It's not just going to be a voice. And in five years, it's going to be like a hologram that you're talking to, or somebody that you're talking to through your glasses. I mean, yeah, that maybe it's just there. I mean, it's it's already it's crazy what the freaking the Quest Three, the Zuckerberg the Quest thing, three is kind insane of shows. already. And you go in five years, forget it. And and everything that they're working on now, I mean, what they're showing us is one thing, which is amazing. Yeah, you know that there's they're they're five right. steps ahead already right now in development. Yeah. Well, they on have other goals. Things. Yeah, you'd think eventually these headsets are going to be glasses and they're going to be so easy to yeah. put on. And, and also what they're capable of. Yeah. Wonder if eventually uh, you'll be able to to you know how like people are just. Um, Make me a Drake song or stuff like that, and and it's happening. All that stuff. If down mm-hmm. the road they'd be like, make me this particular game. <laughs> oh, yeah, could have it I mean, it's, it's possible. It's have done. AI. Yeah. AI could probably easily at this point make a simple game. Right. It's like yeah, code yeah, code Pac Man. Yeah. Oh right, yeah. Right, yeah, here here's Pac Man. Yeah, except I want it to be turtles. Yeah, do Pac Man but with turtles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean people are already using ChatGPT to help with code. Man. Crazy, crazy times it, it is. Bring it's crazy it times. <laughs> I love it. Bring it on. It's yeah. getting crazier. Yeah. You think AI is making like recipes? Like, Ooh. hey, make a, make a better spaghetti. I like that. I yeah. like because, you know, sometimes all it takes is just one little ingredient that no one ever like thought of and it's just like a game changer. Yep. Raisins, raisins and spaghetti. But, you know, they, cut, they have so much crappy stuff, it's hard to like, like spaghetti. How are you going to change spaghetti? You ever had spaghetti and raisins? With raisins. Or different sauce. <laughs> have you? Just a different sauce Think ingredient. Think about it. Like, because, you know, sometimes you like a little bit of a sweeter sauce. Raisins would do it. They would. Chop up little raisins. Or not even chop them up. <laughs> just throw them in there. Next spaghetti Fucking night, which is probably every night for you, add raisins. <laughs> <laughs> it's every lunch. <laughs> Guess what we're eating tonight? Spaghetti. Every and lunch raisins. is spaghetti. Every dinner's lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> what a life you live. I love it. Yep. Lasagna and bananas. Don't rule it out. I'm throwing I'm not even AI. I'm just All throwing right, stuff listen, out. Man, I like He's to not see even you guys there. cook this stuff. All right. Like you think you get it. to the point like I bet I bet in twenty years AI can run a fast food joint. Like McDonald's. Oh, just like at McDonald's is just going to be AI controlled the entire thing. Oh, it could it could be it could probably be done next year. Somebody <laughs> shows up with a truck of meat, some cheese and pickles and raisins. Yeah, exactly. Just put them yeah. all in the places. Then put, everything's programmed. A little bit of human interaction, really, just limited. But yeah, run, yeah, generally run by. You need like one guy there to make sure everything's operational. Yeah, maybe two. Yeah, I mean, you know, customer service, and clean all of it. Yeah, yeah, you just be able to walk up to the counter. You know, you can go to the counter, but the drive-through. I mean. They can only do text to speech. It's like, ah, I want a quarter pounder with cheese. And brrr, there it is. Yeah. It's like, is it? Yes, sir. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, drive through. Yeah. And in the back, the robots just meep, 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 heat it up. There you go. Yeah. It's gonna get really tough to gauge uh, where to go eat because, like, deal with something like that. But then all the Yelp reviews are are from AI. <laughs> you can't believe anything. It's, it's from the AI that's running Taco Bell. <laughs> exactly. It's all this. Yeah. Well, what if one restaurant becomes like the Amazon? You walk in there and they have everything imaginable, like whether you want pizza or Chinese food or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's called like, all the food. Do you want pizza with tacos on it because you can customize everything and do everything stupid? Yeah, they got every single ingredient you could ever want, mm-hmm. and you can the person you. It's like a, you know, it's kind of like a food court, but everything. Everything. Everything in the world. All right. See, food, that's 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 good. a good title for this place, food court. Mm-hmm. Everything in the world, food court. Yeah, you got it all. Food court. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like there's not even a question of where you're going to go eat tonight. Like, yeah, we're, just of course go to food court. We go to the place that has everything. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> In case you want anything. Thank you to our sponsor, Rocket Money. And they are a personal finance app that monitors your spending, helps you lower your bills, and they find and manage all of your subscriptions for you. Because more people than not have subscriptions that they have completely forgotten about. And for any of those that are found, Rocket Money can easily cancel them for you. It's pretty awesome. And Rocket Money just saved me money again. Because I was being overcharged by 15 bucks a month on my phone bill for a line that was supposed to be canceled. I knew my bill was going to be cheaper, and then I got the little notification, and I'm like, wait a second. Rocket Money really makes it so much easier for me to stay on top of my bills. It's great. So start today. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash nebs. That's rocketmoney.com slash nebs. Stay on top of your bills, save money, and go to rocketmoney.com slash nebs. See, that's, that's, that's good. That's a good title for this place, Food Court. Mm-hmm. Everything in the world, Food Court. I was thinking on a fraction of that. That's, it's a really a very small fraction of that, but I was thinking of another, like, a business. You know, like, well, because I wanted soup. And I'm like, man, I wish I could go to a place. Man, I wish I could. And it's pretty easy these days, you'd think. To open up a store and it's just soups. Yeah. That's the name of it. Soups. Just soups. Yeah. Soups. Right. And then you go in there and you've got fucking 45 different soups. You go in there. You, there's great, amazing soup recipes that could be easily duplicated over and over again. Yeah. Sounds a lot like my restaurant, Cereals. Cereals, exactly. Yep, cereals. Except mm-hmm. for this would be cooking and yours would be buying cereal. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> but yes. Are you making the cereal? You have a bowl. <laughs> oh yeah, and you yeah. walk you, up, you and it's that. almost like self-serve. You just start pumping the things. So still and just, no cooking. It's the same as right. what you just said. You could right. mix every cereal. You could. There you is could mix. One you're absolutely right. And I would. We wouldn't allow anyone to mix the soups at our place because be like, no, of course. That's where you you're can. going wrong. No, you, you can mix chicken too. noodle and clam chowder. You could. And a little tomato. Or corn pops and lasagna. But good soups. Yeah. I love good soups, and we are in soup season now, officially. We are. Mm, we're crawling there, yeah. 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 And a soup and a sandwich, like, I love a sandwich. And oh. so often, I'm like, I've eaten too many sandwiches. If I just had a, a really good soup yeah. with it, it yeah. would make me feel better. It's like a sandwich au jus. I want this podcast to just develop a timer with how long it takes us to, to, get devolve, to, food. to devolve into <laughs> sure. food. Sure. Not long. <laughs> Fair enough. Really it, it I, man, I hope they have tuna milk, uh, saw milk Because we're getting hungry <laughs> right now. Today. My really stomach just that. yelled at me. So yeah. It's true, yeah. It's, yeah may, and maybe that's why we do it. It's getting a little later in our day. Probably so. Podcasts are usually right before dinner. Aren't they? they are, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's why we end up talking about food so damn much. God. Remember, it's been a while since we've done a podcast after the stream. Mm. Very long. Yeah. Yeah. Those are fun, aren't they? Uh uh-uh. uh. Um, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> he doesn't. Nope. He's like, I am out. Uh, <laughs> done. It's um, questions, food wise. We'll stay on this food real quick. You just got back from a trip, Neebs. Uh huh. <gasps> what was your favorite meal on the trip? Oh, God. Ugh. Or at least one of them. Yeah, yeah. at least one of them. Because mm. one of them has to stick out a little bit, you know? Can I, can I think ans- on it a bit? Answer op- the opposite of what you said? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. What was your least favorite meal on the trip? Let me tell trip? you what well, I don't like. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do not like test kitchens. You ever been to a test kitchen meal? No, no, no. A test kitchen. What is yeah. this? It's where you go in and they want to talk about everything before you eat it. Oh, they fuck go, you. Okay, this is from this region, and we're t- we took a little bit of this and we made this little oh, fancy no. thing, and it's a very small amount on a very large plate, and we're gonna all eat it here in a minute, and then you take like two bites, and you you eat this small thing. And okay. You go, okay, how was that? And you're like, eh, and it's always fancy stuff. Yeah. And they yeah. pull that away, then they explain the next one. And it's, oh, no. It's creative. And it's expensive, and it doesn't give you a lot of food. From, from my experience, women love it. Yeah. It goes up there with pumpkin and french fries. <laughs> Test kitchens. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you could just go out to dinner before that and fill yourself up real good. Yep. Then go to this. That Yeah. That's perfect, because yeah. you can go, oh, now I get my little samples, yes. and I can have some drinks. Because what's the... When it's on the spoons of stuff, the ah, it's a bunch of little portions, but it's like, like tapas. On no, on spoons. Yeah, yes. spoons. Tapas are different. Well, so maybe yeah. it's not necessarily on spoons. I, I got this. You guys keep talking. All right. Okay. Anyway. So anyway, you had. I don't. I you don't, had an experience with a test kitchen. I don't want to test. I've been to a couple test kitchens in different places, and uh, 
It's usually not my favorite experience. Yeah, it sounds awful. Yeah. Yeah, just give me a meal. Like, I love okay. a, a buffet. No, yeah, yeah. That's, just give that's me a different. spoon. I just yeah. start Because there's some shoveling. assholes not, like, sitting there explaining how they made it and where it yeah. fucking came yeah. from. Yeah, and I get it. Like, it's... It was creative. The pr- the food was cool. Yeah. Like one time I had a mushroom. It wasn't even a mushroom. Someone made a mushroom out of some kind of stuff they blended together and painted it to look just like... Unacceptable. I couldn't believe it was a mushroom. It wasn't a mushroom. Okay, what it was it? It was stuff they made. I know, but can you tell me... They made a mushroom they, out of they it. They turned baby food into a damn mushroom. Okay, wait a second. I'm sorry. You don't know what they because mashed together? I don't enjoy the stories. <laughs> I just want to eat. <laughs> so they didn't. So it's so like, you're a like I'm eating this me. thing that looks like a mushroom, and <laughs> now, it's not a mushroom, and I don't know what the fuck it is. Now, is it a case of just the stories go on too long? It's it's just like playing, your, well, getting to play your favorite game and having to sit through cutscenes, and you're mashing gotcha. all the buttons. Right. Yeah. And you're like, just give me the food. Right. I want to eat the food. Right. You just want to play. You don't want to watch the cutscene. I'm not going to cook this later. Yeah. So. I know. Just I thought because that'd be you know it. if if it were short answers, just like okay, hey, yeah. this looks like a mushroom, but it's not. It's like oh, what is it? Well, we made it this, that, blah 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 blah. Made okay, cool. And, and that's it. Yeah. But maybe you asked your like wife I know I would have known. I would have known uh, <laughs> a few minutes after it happened, mm-hmm. but my mind was like, you don't need this. Let's yeah, don't, right. don't store this anywhere. Yeah. Okay. I purge a lot of stuff out of my brain. I know, but usually yeah. you keep some podcast stuff. You got to keep the vacation stuff for the podcast. I was hungry. Back he was too. really hungry. I remember that I don't like test kitchens. Okay, good. <laughs> and yeah. I was thinking right. of the word ceviche because I've only <laughs> had ceviche. What? What? I, sorry, I don't like ceviche. Oh, you don't? No. Okay, I've had when good. When you said I've spoons, you meant ceviche? The only time I've ever had ceviche is like on served on spoons. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. If anyone wants to know what ceviche is, it's a soup. It's a cold ass, it's, it's nasty soup. fish well, soup. It's not this a is soup. how I'd explain it. It's, it's, a, it's fish cooked technically in, in, in citrus juice. Raw not. fish marinated in lime or lemon juice, often with oil, onions, peppers, and seasoning. Sometimes just cook it. Just cook it. Well, damn. You're a sushi fan. Yeah. Not so in a damn soup. Just cook that just, sushi. No, don't cook the sushi. But this it's not necessarily this is soup. Gross. When I had it, it was like more like a salsa. No, I get it. I've tried it, and I'm like, you know, you you could be eating hot, delicious seafood instead of cold seafood, I've but had you it like sushi. Bad. But well, sushi's different because you wrap it in the rice. I don't know. Sushi's different. This <laughs> this is cold. <laughs> this is a sushi apologist. No, sushi he likes. This is cold <laughs> fish soup. <laughs> this he Here's the does it like. This yeah. is what the di- <laughs> cold fish soup. Yeah, no, it's it doesn't nasty. sound good. Yeah. It's cold nasty. Cold rice, fucking seaweed. Fish. Cold fish Nasty. soup with a damn lemon squeezed in it. Ceviche. <laughs> <laughs> is that your? Sound like a commercial. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Ceviche. Ceviche. He's like the Sam Jackson of uh, Ceviche spokespersons. Uh, mm. Mm. Now, if you That's heat it up, sense. call me. So, no favorite meal? Man, I just. Just all so good. I love about all food. It, about everything else. Yeah. Love everything else. Okay. Had a good hamburger. Mm-hmm. Had a good chicken Caesar salad. Mm-hmm. Had some good salmon. Mm. Yep. So you ordered things that you don't usually order. Mm. <laughs> I mean, <I've laughs> no, you know, you did. You <laughs> ordered a burger, salmon. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you went to different countries. Like, I'll take a burger. I'll take a salmon well, or look, salad. How Got often some... are you surprised by a food nowadays? We've had a lot of food in our lives. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh, what's this? That's pretty rare. <laughs> so, I mean, oh, I, and when I do, it's a test kitchen and it's. I'm pretty open-minded. About I, uh, There's nothing I can't. Like, I, I can eat anything. I've got an example for that. This last <laughs> weekend, I um, I was at Lowe's Foods, and I, I brought home a couple pizzas, and one stuck out. And it was a cheeseburger pizza, right? Mm-hmm. We've seen cheeseburger pizzas, but it, on the on the box, it said, with French fry crust. What? Okay, that sounds different. I was intrigued. What? Of course. What? I was intrigued. So I <laughs> brought it home. It was a good, thick pizza. And I tell you what, the cheeseburger flavors that was going on... They were they were good. The crust was a little bit thick, and I'm like looking at the outside. Of course, got to see what's going on. Yeah, it was just normal crust. But uh, my girl did see every now and then you'd see a little piece of potato. Okay, kind so of it was like yeah, chopped up there. potato, yeah. jammed into the crust. So was it a French fry? No, no. I think they threw that out there. How about tater tot crust? <laughs> <laughs> fucking brilliant marketing. That actually yeah, was a got- tater brilliant tot crust, cheeseburger and pizza you know with a tater tot crust. Now we're talking. You got to make that uh, that, that outer yeah. layer a little bit tougher. Oh, for sure. Like Otherwise, you're gonna have a mess. Yeah, you, you got to brown it, uh, cook it. 
Make it nice. See, there are different foods out there. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's just, just take a is, cheeseburger and yeah. turn it into a pizza. Look how different it is. This is more like KFC or these like fast food. Like, <laughs> I, hey, I, your I, bun's chicken now. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you did you end up having anything that was like chicken piccata like? No, but you know what? Where did I have chicken piccata recently? Oh, I went to visit mom in the mountains. There's a store there called what? I forget. Ola's or something. It's a Mexican Italian restaurant. So they come in, like they like, do you want garlic bread or do you want chips and salsa? No shit. What? Yeah. That's a great combo. Yeah. And then the menu comes and it's got That's a smart. whole Italian section and a whole Mexican section. That's what? awesome. And you can get uh, from both. I, if I want to get really great enchiladas and then have some. Usually that suggests that, Parmesan. that neither are great. Usually. Usually. In, historically, that would suggest that. Right. Well, the guy that runs it is Mexican. Okay. I guess he also knows how to cook Italian food. Perfect. Like, hey, let's I'm in. It may as well add it to the menu. Why not? Yeah. Chicken I think piccata you're... was okay. Okay. Mm. No capers. Oh. What? Well, that's... Can you believe that? I mean, that's no, like the I don't accept thing about that it. at all. That's weird. Uh, I can believe it. Yeah. Capers Mountain over. Town Restaurant. Without Mexican capers. and Italian. <laughs> and <laughs> it's probably one of <laughs> the, the town probably has six restaurants. Okay. Seven. Yeah. See, and they a covered good cook two. is a good cook, but yes, things might not stay traditional, hence the no capers. Hmm. I don't know about that. Capers is where it's at. With I know, that. I yeah. know. And I'm it's also in the country. Uh, yeah, it kind of comes in with chicken piccata. You yeah, expect you, capers. Yeah, exactly. It's a pretty do. big part of it. You, like, hmm. you said country town. But country, so, I mean, it's a Mexican family. And I'm thinking like there's a lot of things that are southernized or Americanized. Like, hey, let's change this. But you can't remove key ingredients. I know, but do you replace them? Like, hey, let's just put some peas in there. We're in the or south. raisins. Oh, I would say that a lot of people would have that mentality in the south, or yeah. in the in the in the not even just in the country. Mm-hmm. There's country everywhere. Ah, fuck it, it's green. Yeah, we can't get hold of capers. What we ought to put in this? Just I like peas. Those capers are too salty. Put the peas in there. Put peas. I like peas. Do y'all like the southern sushi idea? I think that could go somewhere. Southern sushi. Lay it it down again. It's sushi, but Mm. it's all southern food. Like you might have a Salisbury steak roll wrapped in rice. I think that would work. Wrapped in rice instead of seaweed. Maybe it's like collards and then a little Little piece of fried chicken. A little sliver of fried chicken or a Salisbury steak. Absolutely could work. Southern Benedict is a big thing and I love Eggs Benedict. It's my favorite breakfast food and southern one is just it's you know you got the biscuit and gravy shit oh <laughs> the sushi instead of rice it's just biscuit yeah bi- <laughs> well southern people eat rice and biscuits <laughs> okay you got options i'm saying yeah you could put a little sliver of biscuit in there sliver of biscuit <laughs> and it's c- yeah God, catfish gross. eggs on it all right <laughs> I, someone's gonna do it and i'm gonna be okay with it there yeah. you go. So you didn't get to have any food. We're going to cross that off the list that, that's at somewhat out of the ordinary that you were like, oh, this was good. Well, one of his bags that he brought um, was full of just sawmill food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. I always carry saw just in case. Yeah, yeah all right. He was uh, no, him. nothing jumped out at me as different. All right. all right. Now, what about places or people? See any weirdos? Places or people. <laughs> I want, you got, got any weirdo any stories? weirdos? From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills, and favorite streaming services, inflation is everywhere. But thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much-needed break, and it's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton, with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. And when they sell online only, they're eliminating the traditional costs of retail and they pass along that sweet savings to you. And we've used Mint service and love it. Never had a problem with it. And all plans come with unlimited talk and text and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And you can use your own phone with any Mint mobile plan and keep your phone number along with all your existing contacts. And to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and... Get the plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash Neebs. That's mintmobile.com slash Neebs to get the best phone service out there for the best price. Cut your wireless bills to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash Neebs. You got, got any weirdo stories? Any weirdos? No, yeah. not really. So we went 
this year I've actually got two big family trips, and that was one of them. My wife's mother had a birthday and always wanted to go to Spain. So we went to Spain and took a cruise. Yeah. Do you, do you do a lot of talkie? Did we talk? What? Yeah, no. What kind of in question? Your language. The whole trip. Oh, in, in Espanol. In, in Espanol. Oh. Did you do a lot of local talk? Well, here's what I learned. Um, the Spanish that I do know did come in super handy. Nice. Because I was able to understand kind of what's going on, heard people talking. Um, like, we bought tickets when it's like tourist bus where you, uh, you know, sometimes have these buses in cities that are like, hey, you know, for 25 bucks, I can jump on this bus and yeah. it has all these stops and I can just go around the city, yeah. Yeah. jump on and off. Yeah. And we're waiting in line and, and the guy's like saying in Spanish, like kind of pointing at us, like, and he's saying, we got to change our tickets. And I already knew what was happening before someone came up in English and like, hey, I'm like, oh, shit, we got the wrong tickets or whatever. Gotcha. So uh, I would hear little things like that and already kind of know what's going on. Yeah. But they, we were in Barcelona. And they've got like a mix of Spanish and Catalan, Catalan or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so you're looking at things like, oh, that's not quite Spanish. What is that? What's going on here? But um, yeah, I had a taxi driver that I got to talk to. Um, one store lady didn't speak uh, English. So a little bit, but man, people speak English everywhere. Yeah, it's true. A lot of English. Especially at yeah, tourist destinations. Yeah, at least in big cities. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 I would like to go back and go to a smaller town. And So you said Barcelona. Mm-hmm. They had the Olympics there one year, didn't they? In like uh-huh. the eighties or something. Yeah. Is there any sort of like really good, or like monuments? I'm trying to think of like, isn't there some sort of like famous statues, or did you go and see any anything really famous in the city? Any like museums the, the, that were like really well known, or you know the typical oh, man. kind of. I, I wish I had shit. prepped. I didn't know I was gonna be tested. Uh, okay. You just got no, off. No, I just thought trip. you went there. That's no, all. I did. But uh, like a lot of the things, like I can't remember. Oh, the, what they're called? The architect's name, but there's a place called Park. Guel, Guel, or Guel, or something, uh-huh. where it's this beautiful buildings where they kind of like the mosaics, you know, oh. weird shapes and just like little pieces of mosaic colors just yeah. all over them. Yeah, that was really awesome. And there's cathedrals everywhere. Like yeah. every city has one out there. Yeah, They're just if you amazing. Just out and check some shit out. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and there's a museum we didn't get to go, but it was like a Picasso museum where they have a lot of. Yeah. They had like a free day that day, so everybody was in line. It's like, well, we ain't gonna make this line. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, great. But yeah, Sounds but fun. um yeah, you get, like cruises I think are such a great deal cuz you can get a cruise for like, you know, 1000 bucks, 2000 bucks if you're splitting it. And then you can get all these stops and get all these cities in, your food's included. It's pretty great. Um so on that tip uh brings up something interesting this weekend. Obviously we've seen the news and the the horrible shit going on um between Israel and Palestine. Um my girl uh, gets a call. Well, what day did that start? Saturday or Sunday morning? I, I'm confused now. I can't quite remember. And I see her like sit up in bed, just at attention, like, oh shit, kind of stuff. Ooh. Mm-hmm. It was her father calling from New York, and um, he was totally rattled, crying the whole thing. Her mother is on a trip with her friend. They had just gotten to Israel. Oh shit. That day. And uh, she, her mother, like, broke off to do one of those trips. Like, it was on a bus, hour and a half drive away, and they turned around immediately. And, of course, um, my girl's freaking out, just understandably, because yeah. that, was, that was a hell of, a, of an attack. And then all the, the hostages and whatnot. And I, I heard her when she finally, her mom called back. And her mom was so, she's a, she's a savage. But she was so... <laughs> Cool, calm, and collected. He's like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, we saw the smoke and heard the booms. <laughs> you know, like all the stuff. Like, you're in a war, like a war right now, right. you know? Yeah. And oh, uh, but he was like, all good. I'm just going to go get some lobster. And like, he was like, <laughs> Jeez. Oh, shit. And the restaurants are still open. Oh, my God. Is she still like, open? Like, on the sh- back on the ship. They were do- doing Oh, they were like, clues. Okay. So they left gotcha. their. Wow. They left their. Like immediately, no shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, call everybody. All right, everyone back yeah, to the boat. And we're they're heading the fuck to, out of here. Heading to Cyprus a little early. Jesus, but oh, um, God. that was pretty nuts to hear. But then her, just her, her mom's pretty badass. But like you know, just sweet and not affected by. Yeah, <laughs> she kidnapped one of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're coming with me. But the timing of it, and of course, um, like her dad was like 
super concerned about I mean, just going to that area yeah. anyway. It's like, yeah, just hey, like, war's popping off and your mom's there. You're like, yeah, you, you, anyone would go. And of course, uh, all right. yeah, in his we'll mind, he was sure like, I safe. told her. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> I told her. Like you can predict a biggest yeah. Yeah. And, and I don't even know. Uh, I haven't watched television or really talked to anybody in the last it's three their days. It's their 9 It's bad. Yeah. It's real yeah. bad. Yeah. There was a big attack. It's, yeah, it sucks. Crazy. Crazy. I tell their 9 11. That, that, it is. that Iron Dome Israel has, though. Good God. Oh, it's that insane. That thing's amazing. Yeah. Did, did, what? Not a fucking plane. A plane didn't. No, no, no. no but no, I'm no, saying, no. but yeah. it was bombs. It was a full scale the, attack. Like, there's yeah. a thousand deaths. For Israelis already. Yeah. Hostages, all kinds so of So many stuff. hostages yeah. taken, and it's multi breach like all over the place, a well coordinated Hamas attack. And um, so now the you know the response and all that shit. But it's, oh, it's total madness. Oh, total madness that they fuck. pulled off. Yeah. Yeah. So with, I mean, with fucking paragliders. You see that shit? Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, that's how some of them like crossed over from Palestine into Israel. They were like fucking like paragliders and shit. Just the oh, patience. And they were using like little drones to take out like turrets and some of uh, some of the damn Israel defense systems. Pretty nuts yeah. shit, man. Wow. Yep. A big shocker. Fuck. Yeah. yeah, but now, oh God. Yeah. And I just the, feel horrible. The whole regions. For, of course, you feel horrible for the, anyone. The over Palestinian there. people, like the. Because, like, you know, Hamas is a piece of shit terrorist organization. Right. And, That'd be like and us, they're in charge yeah. of it. would be like us living here and a bunch of rednecks were like, we're going to go attack somebody. And, and it represents some, all of us. Yeah. yeah. And then you're like, fuck these idiots. Yep. Yep. So yeah, no, the civilians, people, and that and Gaza is such an interesting region because because just how packed it is. It's oh like God, Tokyo it's already... levels of pack. It's like two million people jammed in this yep. little little section. Yeah, pretty nuts. But so, um, yeah, it's gonna yeah. So there's gonna be sadly so much loss of life. Yep, it sucks. <laughs> it does. But because her mom was there, it was um, I mean, just kind of. Funny. Not that anything's funny about all that going on, but like her, <laughs> just mm. her. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chill. <laughs> Mom's where? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> well, your average person just being in that re- region at that time, yeah, you'd no. be so uneasy. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Fucking nuts. She was on cruise mode. She was on cruise <laughs> mode. She <had> a, <laughs> yeah. Hey, she still she's got already the cruise She's already two in bloody marys in. You know. Like, come on. <laughs> Cruising. Third day. I've had a mimosa, bloody. <laughs> I'm good. fine. I saw the smoke. It's <laughs> fine. You said you were going to go to the club later, right? Mm. <laughs> I bet she likes test kitchen. She, she probably, probably does. does. <laughs> yeah, her and her friend are probably <laughs> been to multiple. I would love to go to a test, test kitchen, but yeah, the next time, dude, you just got to eat dinner. Like, you, I've, I'd like to go one time. Where'd mm. you go? Where was the test kitchen? It's on the ship. It was on the ship. Yeah. They've got a test kitchen on the ship. They it's got, one of those extras, man. They got all kinds of things yeah, on the ship. Yeah, for sure. I'd... And of course, you know, my mother-in-law and my wife want to go, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and they call I can it always a... go eat again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They right. got a buffet there, exactly. 24-7. Yeah. They call it a test kitchen. It is. It's cool. But so where does that data go? Are they like, when they get enough thumbs up on particular dishes, is just, someone going to yeah, make I mean, you're, that? you're the one getting tested on, I assume. No, this is, I mean, this is just so you can. It's a name. They're not test trying to out test things, things out. They're I like, see. hey, you can try a bunch of different tastes that, you know. Okay. You haven't tried I get before. it. It's for you. Your it's experience cool is the test. I see. The it's test just not what you like. Yeah, I got yeah. you. I like the idea of a chef's like, all right, I tried this. Yeah. I'm going to test it on you. And. I dig that too, kind of, yeah. you know? And that's then it the makes kind of, it to their big restaurant yeah, if they get that's enough. That's the kind of test kitchen I want. Yeah. yeah. And that. then, like, you know, you react and you're just like, oh, God, that's awful. And he's like, yeah, I thought that was going to happen. That's ceviche. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. 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 Here's cold else. fish. <laughs> <laughs> we, we squeeze some limes in it. <laughs> yeah. Because they yeah. turn it into stuff a fucking like, soup. It's like covered in like a dish with a lot of like wood smoke or something in there with the flavor. Okay. And it stays covered till right before they serve it and go boom. And then the smoke comes out and you smell the. Flavors of the wood. Yeah, I can dig that. And you eat it. And it's like a fajita fancy. presentation. It's lost on me because I'm. Yeah. You you just the whole eat. time, what's going through your head? Are you just going like this is ridiculous? Like what are you doing? Let's just bring it all out. Just I'm hungry. fuming. Let's just eat all of it right now. Are you annoyed, or do you just experience it? No. Um. Well, I know you, we're you all there to have it. a good time, and plus I have a drink, so I'm good. But yeah, that's good. Yeah. Alcohol helps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the days just slip away. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't want to turn people off on it. It's not my thing. Yeah. I think a lot of you would love it. Man, you'd hate France, wouldn't you? Mm. Just like the, the fancy, like, you. finer, you know, like the cafes, smaller meals. And I don't do tea. 
Yeah. I don't do like croissants and things like that and mm-hmm. little cakes. Like, I used to have a lot of people in my life that were European <laughs> and they want to have tea. <laughs> tea, tea, like, tea didn't just mean sweet tea to how them. How dare you? To yeah. me, it was a game of how many plates you can get dirty with the least amount of food. <laughs> That's right. a good way to put it, too. Like we had a little Tea's piece of great, cake and a little piece of bread and a tea. The whole sink's full. Yeah. <laughs> and you're hungry as hell. <laughs> yeah. It's weird how, yeah, tea, tea times is permeated in that culture. Yeah. And I know that was a big point of contention when James Cameron, when they shot the uh, Aliens movie back in the day with the crew. Okay. Because they shot it somewhere in the UK. Oh. And... You know, Cameron, everybody be setting up a shot, and James Cameron's like, all right, let's go. Let's get this shot. Like, Uh-oh, nope, it's tea time, governor. <laughs> <laughs> the entire crew's just like, nope, we got to stop to drink fucking tea. tea. James Cameron was like, mm, Last I, don't, time. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Last time we shoot a movie Because he's known to be a hard ass and just go, go, go. We yeah. got to get it. We got to go. Yeah. And yeah, just this idea that we got to stop to drink tea <laughs> infuriated him. So there's an official time? Cause that's around nine. Yeah, I don't I've know. I've been there. Like I used to drink a lot of tea. I I stayed I stayed in England for like six weeks once, and I noticed that they did the whole tea thing. It was like, oh, they really do this, but it was never at a specific time. But any time, like anyone would ever come over, it'd be yeah. like an excuse to be like, oh, you want some tea? Sure. I and like this is where the comments can be uh, educational. It, so if anyone sure, if anyone's and it's listening, gonna vary by region. I'm sure. Yeah. Like you were in Spain. Like siesta exists there. Well, I didn't see any of that. I got you. Okay, but. you didn't, because I don't know anything about siestas. Like, I mean, except I, for the fact that I it's saw a, it when I was in the Marine Corps, and it was fucking crazy. The first day I went out on the town of Rhoda, which is by the um, the base we were at, uh, that I forget what time of the day it was. It was middle of the day, maybe two p.m. or something, and um, the town's a ghost town. Everyone's taking their little sippies. Mm. Everyone's taking a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know no, what? All the businesses closed down for like an hour. And like, I'm all about it. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I did have shawarma for assholes. the first time. They work what? later, though. Shawarma? <laughs> yeah, shawarma. Yeah. Okay, so they have that at Pena. I didn't, uh, yeah, I never get it there. I know. You had what is supposed to be. I had it in Barcelona in a little uh, restaurant. Right. And? What'd it was think? great. So oh. describe shawarma to me, because the only uh, the only places I know shawarma from are from the Avengers movie mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and Breath Edge. To me, see, the, the plate had like some sort of uh, thin layer of bread or pita or something on it okay. from the bottom. And then there was like rice and then some sort of, I don't know, was that hummus or something? And then they had like the chicken they shave off the yeah. big mm, okay. the big Which thing. I do love that. Yeah. It was good. And yeah. they have like a mayo sauce, don't it? It was some kind of sauce in there. Yeah, All some right. kind yeah. of like creamy type thing. All right. By the way, Tiny says tea time is officially 4 o'clock to 6. Look at that. 4 to 6. 4 to 6. Officially, two hours? that's two. Uh, that's a lot of tea. Somewhere in between there, not a full two hours of tea. What, All right. What time do they work? <laughs> the rest. Okay. And that's, yeah, is, are we talking thirty minutes, fifteen minutes, oh, fifteen minutes? I would think. Yeah, honestly, to drink oh, a yes. tea. Yes. yes. Thank like you. Like if somebody <laughs> works nine to five and you got tea time at four, are you gonna? Yeah, it's gonna half take, hour tea, then work a half hour, then go home. It's all caffeine. They're all just all right. They're all just caffeine yeah. addicts, mm, and yeah. they also drink tea all like morning, probably yeah, exactly. too. And like whenever they have an excuse, they stop yeah. drinking tea to have tea time. Right. I don't think you need and to stop. Go, just keep a thermos with you. There you go. Yeah. Thermos. Yeah. Tea's great. Yeah. I lo- I do like tea a lot, but I like milk and sugar. You know how offended they'd be by that? What? Their precious tea in a thermos. <laughs> yeah. Just more tea. Well, like you were saying, you don't have to you don't have to ruin a dish and a oh. cup. Yep. Yeah. That's always been silly. A, a cup a and then a plate that you set it on. Yeah, use my same plate. I've it's clean. There's a couple crumbs a there, but like if you're gonna bring out something else, just put it on that plate. You don't need a plate. Get a table. But I'm saying if you're at a place that needs to use plates. Test kitchen, a lot of plates there. Yeah, got a lot of forks and knives. I'm like, look, I'll just yeah, I'll use this again. I can just I can clean this fork with my mouth. Yeah. We'll save water collectively. We will all save right. water. I can go honestly. Yeah. And my yeah. friend Simon, he can go a whole month with one spoon. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Listen, I a lifetime, I, really. I cleaned the plastics of spoon and fork at least twenty times. Yeah. I'm, why? Why You're saving not? the planet. I'm helping. Why not? I do enough waste other places, it makes me feel better. Yeah, yeah you gotta counter it. I'm with you on that. I saved the planet too. I um, sometimes I go to this taco place. <laughs> yeah, he saves it too. Because you save the planet too. I do that too. And yeah. you're telling us how. I too save the planet funny. a lot. Yes, well, 
Okay, so some of the stuff that I... Here's the thing. You've all been there. You get a taco that's either a little bit soggy or half of it's like falling apart. That one half that's in charge of holding everything in. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. And now, this is great. Everything from the taco is just falling into the plate or the whatever you're eating on. Yeah, right. So you could go get a spoon or you could use your chips as a spoon. Yeah, you also have fingers. Um, Well, I mean, we're talking about. Pico de Gallo, sure. and cilantro, these little tiny things. See, my fingers come together, and like I can scoop things, okay. and I can wash it later Just if I want. Put your mouth down there. It's it a little bit messy. I see it's the eyes of. Yeah, you but know, you can get the majority with chip. The, I can't same. wait. We'll we'll go together. <laughs> so <laughs> you, so you, this is the chip recommendation. The chip is a scoop. You gotta you gotta go through them, man. You can't just pick any chip. It's yeah, got to be the right shape. Yeah. Can't be curled up yeah, too it's much. Gotta be, it's gotta have the scoop. That's yeah. why the geniuses of uh, of, of scoops. The, the chip. Yeah. Well, the scoops, uh, they've got the, brand, the, uh, the the flowing ruffly stuff. Do. That's going to deny you a lot because some's going to get under. I don't uh, need a ruffle, yeah. No. Oh, it's still good, though. It's they still a very good tool. Just spoon-shaped. A spoon. bag of spoon-shaped. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's going to make it through, <laughs> through transport. <laughs> <laughs> Frito's new chip. I like Spoon-shaped. It. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Listen, I did get to ride an airplane. And I did get to eat airplane food, okay, which and, you know I love. Okay, so you have details on this. Of course you do. Yeah, I mean, I had some chicken with mashed potatoes. It was fantastic. No <laughs> fish on the flight, though, right? He gets on an airplane. He's just putting a bib on as he's getting ready. Yeah, like, oh, what man. was the veggie? What was the veggie? Uh, and was the bread good? There was a little salad, and it came with an oil and vinegar yeah. pack. Okay, so you liked the salad. And, it was um, good. Cherry tomatoes, all right? Um, yep. Good for you. Yeah. Okay. No, it was great. But they had wooden silverware. <gasps> okay, yeah. You open it up. <laughs> yeah. It's little what? thin wood. Yeah. yeah. And it's strong enough. Yep. Yeah. It's good for the environment. Of course. It's, it should be illegal to have plastic silverware. Yeah. Trees, fuck them, right? Yeah. Yeah. They, fuck they regrow. Em. No, bamboo is I'm the kidding. quickest. Uh, yeah, you can have bamboo farms, so sure. And if I'm not mistaken. If you can recycle it. Yeah. And I don't you can know wash what... the damn wooden one. Yep. If you really wanted to. Good, I guess. Yeah. I mean, shit. I wash wooden spoons all the time. I, well, I, I wash start growing chopsticks all the time. Yeah. Mold. Mold will grow on them. I mean, eventually. Not properly. Oh, black mold. <laughs> Very and porous. they can't see it, too, eventually. Anyway, mm-hmm. be careful. Okay. I will. Okay. But uh, I think a while back we talked about how they were learning to grow wooden labs, and they could even grow it into a certain shape. That's mm-hmm. crazy. You can just grow little forks and spoons. Grow it into a chair. You could. That's fucking that was one of know. the things. Yeah, somebody was trying to grow a rocking chair, I believe, in the same thing you're talking about. Man. The world's getting crazy. It'd be I a crazy it. backyard, wouldn't it? All rocking chair trees around? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. That's a bench farm over there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you almost feel like, I don't know. I'm still surprised when I hear stuff, but not too surprised. Because you're like, of course. Of course they're growing a bench. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> these days, yeah, these days. And that's why no one cares about the alien thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah, of course there yeah, is. That would, yeah, yeah, that would, actually, that would surprise me. Actual beans that, have, that figured out interstellar travel. Because we hadn't figured that one out yet. Yeah. That's like the next, like, okay, how do you, how do you pull that off? Well, I was, I watched, uh, there's a, I thought it was, entertaining um it's called encounters i think it's a three or four part series on netflix okay it was just fun talking to uh people mass i guess there was this one particular guy who's been doing research for i guess a long time about aliens whatever but uh he he ended up going to these particular places that i think it's called the blue spots where you know like hey you know big news story Mass sighting, three hundred people have seen. They're all have right. seen the same thing. Right. Okay, they're all they're all describing the same thing. Yeah, there's forty kids that saw the same thing. You it's separate them and they tell the story and they all draw the same picture yeah. or something close. Yeah. Everyone saw something. Yeah, so it was just kind of interesting going through those things, mm-hmm. just for entertainment's sake. It was fun to see. Just a lot of grainy footage, but hey, you know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of little dots, shitty in the distance pictures that we can't tell what they are. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that shit. figured out <laughs> with all these cameras. You think, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's what's eating at me. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. So many fucking cameras now. 4K not, and not 12K. One, yeah. They're still taking the shitty pics. One, yeah. one of them had, uh, 
one of them was a cop. It was funny because they went through this whole, like, they were going through the psychology of, like, this particular town. It's like they were talking to people, high up people who had these experiences in these towns that were just like, I'm not fucking saying shit. Going through, like, you know, a long times of, like, I'm not saying anything. If I say this, people are going to think I'm crazy. Yeah. yeah. One of them oh, was yeah, the yeah. cop. One of them was the sheriff of the fucking town. He's like, I'm not fucking telling anybody what I just saw. I don't care if other people are saying it because everyone's going to think I'm crazy. And the camera footage that he had on the thing, he's like, I've had this camera or whatever for 10 years. And he's like, the one night that I'm like, Burp, there it is. I want to take a picture of it. Go figure. The camera stopped working. It were had it there and it was all glitched out. You couldn't see shit. He goes like, yeah, well. so look at this. No, but that's what he says. He goes, uh, and it may, I mean, to me, you go, if, if there is something out there, if they don't want to be seen, why wouldn't they easily jam any sort of... And again, I'm not saying that there's anything I've never seen an alien, but it kind of makes sense that you go, yeah, if they don't want to be seen, wouldn't they easily just make things not work? Electrical things or anything? You know, I mean, if they happen to be in the sky, you go like, if they are there, you go, obviously they're, you know, I don't know, thousands of years potentially ahead of us if they happen to be in the sky... And not making any movement or like any sound, rather. Yeah, dude, don't I don't rule a damn thing out. Because what the fuck it, do I know? Yeah, right? But I don't yeah. know. It wouldn't yeah. be that hard, would it? If you're like, okay, they got cameras. Some are uh, like photo negative cameras. And you go, okay, maybe we just not got to beam the right light frequency to mess up. Are you an picture. alien right now as you're talking? Yeah, I'm thinking, I see. Hey, okay. maybe we want to go to another place. Let's take a picture of you real quick. Now we're the aliens. And we're like, we gotta, we gotta stay. You we know, gotta stay discreet. on the ground low. So and then, how do we? But, dis- but every dis- now and then. Cameras. But every now and then, you know, it'd be fun. Like that, you know, that guy down there who clearly has a shaky hand. Yeah, who no one's gonna believe. <laughs> Let let's, him get it. Let's turn. Let's let's turn the thing off so he can get us. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Won't that be fun? And no one will believe yeah. him. <laughs> no one's gonna. Just every now and then, you gotta pick that. <laughs> oh, those sons of guns. But cheeky shit. aliens, cheeky ass aliens, just goofing, goofing about. Yeah, we'll see. They're gonna come out soon. Yeah, they're Space. among us. Oh yeah, you really it wouldn't surprise me. It's like aliens exist. It's like all right, I'd buy that. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, sure. Kind of makes sense now if you think about it. I mean, it's so weird to think that there is another Earth, other other life out there, whether or not you know. And we're obviously. So that weird? Yeah, that's not weird at all. Is that weird to, to think, think that there's no life out there? No, no, no. Oh, I thought you said that there's other life. That it's weird to think there's other life. It's weird to think that there's not other life. Oh, is yeah. What I meant yeah. to say, oh, like absolutely. you know, you know, whatever. You, it's we're weird to think both. Even we're exploring and trying. We we've got a little thing that's on Mars right now digging. Mm-hmm. That was one of the things in the documentary. It was just like you know, it's not weird that we would think that if we do think that there's other stuff out there, that stuff is way more advanced than us, and they're going to try to travel too. So you go like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just the distance, so and yeah, can you figure out interstellar interstellar travel? You can, yeah, you got to figure out how to break the speed of light, or even travel a completely different way because you don't then, have to go that fast. It's yeah. worms, wormholes, <laughs> the worms just, just bend space and time. It is like an exit. They pro- this solar system is probably an exit they all pass anyway. Hey, don't stop at that shit one. No, I mean, the bad source, bathrooms. No, right? Yeah, it's, this solar system sucks. <laughs> Alpha Centauri is where it's yeah, at. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There, that's where the yeah, party there is. There you go. You want to stop at this system? Yeah. So, if you happen to be someone who is from a different planet, yeah. And you're, you know, You've got some a Neves f- fan. Yeah. Like, reach out to us. Yeah, let yeah. us know. Let us know what's going on. Reach out to Simon. Yeah, because we'll keep we'll keep it on the down low. We won't tell a soul. It'll be good, just just so that we know. You got I, any recipe ideas that we haven't heard of? Ooh. Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> I love when alien shit hits the news. Like, it wasn't too long ago. Like, there's someone in Mexico, mm-hmm. like, in front of Mexican Congress. Uh, this yeah. guy revealed two alien bodies. Yeah, the bodies. And then you look at them, and you're like, Jesus. Oh, is that paper mache? They didn't look good. <laughs> they've, been <laughs> no. au- they've been autopsied. That's what I heard. By and who? Uh, good no, question. I, I know. I, I believe. I thought it was the, the government. I, yeah, I I'd thought, have to look into I that. I don't know, I though. I, I mean, I've just heard that it's apparently been done okay. and yeah maybe well. they were c- cats or something well, well they didn't just, look like cats let's let us have a take a look at it yeah. okay yeah we'll, we'll figure it out <laughs> well yeah i think they had x-rays of it and like within an hour of the x-ray getting released like someone highlighted a bone they're like yeah that's a dog femur <laughs> 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 just like i'm uh, surprised the x-rays weren't alien, blurry 
autopsy in Mexico 2023. You got to differentiate the year. Be a New York Post article. <laughs> right, yeah. What other year did they do an alien autopsy in Mexico? But I had that idea when I was like a teenager. I'm like, yeah, I might just go grab a bunch of bones and make something in the dirt and cover it up and wait, see what yeah. happens one day. Just fool yeah. Oh, I, I actually thought I saw a UFO one time. I remember this. Like, this was growing up. I was in a in our house and then I just happened to look out the window and like into the, uh, across the field that was by our house. Mm-hmm. And I just see this string of lights. Okay. And I'm just like, what the hell is yeah, that? Couldn't explain it. Yeah. Couldn't explain it. I'm like what's going on. And then like the sun came up the next morning. I look out again and there's a, there's a semi truck sitting out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. and it's trailer had all these lights on it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's a fucking, yeah. And the, I guess light was hitting it just, re- yeah. just right. where yeah. It was reflecting back. It's a fucking hand. But yeah, because it just looked like, you know, a string, yeah. two strings of lights. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? Freaked you out. That's yeah, fun when, know what it when is. your brain's like, what is happening right now? Yeah. Didn't know what it is. I had a moment like that. I was young. I don't know, nine, maybe. I was fishing. Ever tell you this story? No. About I don't the floating think so. fish? The floating fish? Yeah. Okay. I would say flying fish, but that's the thing. So I was fishing. Okay. And then I, I get a, you know, a bite. So I like hook it. And I start reeling it in, and then all of a sudden, the fish, it's night, okay? Okay. All of a sudden, the fish, about, I don't know, 15, 20 feet out in front of me, comes out of the water and just floats in the air. And I'm like, what? And I just stop, and the fish stops. It's just floating there. In the air? Right in front of me, 20 feet out. In the air? Yeah. And I go, okay, this is weird, freaking me out. And I'm nine, I'm like, I don't know if this is a thing that adults know about, and I haven't been told this yet. (laughs) Right, of course. I think I know what happened, but go ahead. So I start reeling a little bit, and it starts going higher in the air. (laughs) Yeah. I'm like, what is going on? Okay. I know what happened. I mean, I've got my theory. (laughs) Yeah. So apparently, I got to a certain height, and then he dropped back in the water. Then I realized, oh, there's like a cable. You you cast over the cable. I cast it over a cable (laughs) that was securing the boathouse. (laughs) That's amazing. (laughs) What? What? That would have been fun for a kid. Just like, wait, what? That's not supposed to happen. That's so great. Wow. And you lost the fish? Lost it. That's sad. Yeah, Yeah. that sucks. Could have made ceviche that. I know. And it had no lemons. Sorry, this is going back to the alien thing. This was in the New York Post. No, I mean, I wanted to. It is New York Post? I wanted to know. This is New York Post. (laughs) Uh, but uh, basically, I don't fucking, uh, I don't know. But it's, in the end, Jose Zalco Benitez, the director of Health Sciences Resource Institute of the Secretary of the Mexican Navy Office. That's okay. a lot of words. Basically said, I can confirm that these bodies have no relation to human beings. Wow. All right. <sighs> okay. Okay. That's a big net. Hey, all right. Hey, that's a pretty vague statement. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a dog famer in the damn thing. I guess I guess that article didn't say anything about a dog fever. Yeah. Just ship the body to each country, let them have a good look, and then uh, let's let's and all decide come up together. With a, one common determination. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, like, yeah, plus aliens. Uh, but anyway, yeah. You know, all right, well, uh, but if you are an alien, <laughs> let us know. Call please Simon. let us know. Um, I'm yep. just curious. Send an email. All right, thank yeah. you very much. See, See you later. See you.